both uh, Tulin and uh, Iran's responses are semantics. They're not really dealing with the major question that you're asking, the main issue of he won the election mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Kilishtarola lost the election. And this is a fact. Defeat is something you accept. Uh, I actually wanted to say at the beginning of the program, Victor Hugo said once, nothing stands before the idea whose time has come. The time has come for people to understand that uh, using international media and many other tools they had in their possession to somehow socially engineer political sphere in Turkey, days are over. And collaborating with everyone else is not going to get you anywhere. You just have to be genuine leader who represents the will of people, which is what he has been doing for the last over the 20 years that we have witnessed him governing this country. That's why they vote him again and again and again. And like Tulin said, they've come all together, seven major parties together, they couldn't still defeat him. There's no need to try to say, oh, there wasn't enough media coverage and stuff. That's just semantics you're talking about, because media coverage in Turkey, especially the negative media coverage, not just from local Turkish media outlets that support the opposition, but also entities like Economist, Le Fregaro, Washington Post, mm -hmm. and every other Western media outlet supported the opposition right from the months ahead of the election. They have said everything about Erdogan. In fact, the opposition lied through their teeth, saying, yeah. oh, he's not going to do the election, and everything. Nothing worked. He wins the election because he's a genuine leader of this country. And people love him. They trust him. Yeah. He earned that trust. You have to accept the fact that this is what people choose, free, willingly, mm -hmm. and you're going to have to have integrity in accepting this. Kiran Özcan, is this semantics? Well, no, I mean, I think he either doesn't know what semantics means or um, he's clearly misusing it because uh, we can reference exact statistics as to how Erdogan was able to utilize state resources uh, against uh, his, uh, his competition. And um, I mean, I think Hakan is a perfect example of the atmosphere that we have in the country right now, whereby um, Erdogan won 52 percent of the vote. Uh, but the opposition got 48% of the vote. And the 48% of this country, of Turkey, are people of the country. They can't be, um, they can't be seen as people who are representing international interests in wanting to socially engineer Turkey. And that is how he sees them. I mean, he just made it very clear because 48% of the people voted to remove Erdogan from power. They are citizens as much as the 52% yeah. that voted for Erdogan. But yes. How is that different from any other election? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How is that yeah. different from any other election that takes place around the world? I mean, you, are, you don't, you're not making any sense. It's like there's two political leaders trying to get elected for the position in the country. How is that different from any other election taking place around the world? Explain, please. I mean, what does uh, that I mean? mean? Like, Biden gets elected. All right, give him a chance or, to explain. Yeah. Um, firstly, for example, what I'm trying to say is how Hakan is very representative and reflects the atmosphere that this government has been pumping, the polarization that he's been pumping over the last few years to win elections. And they're clearly working. I don't understand why Hakan thinks that people aren't accepting the results. They are. Their opposition themselves have accepted the results. They're not uh, contesting anything right now. They've accepted and they're moving on. We're here analyzing. Uh, what happened in these elections. And yeah. I think Hakan should allow us. I mean, I know he's used to, uh, you know, the environment in Turkey where they can suppress and shut everyone up. But, I mean, I'm sorry, but there are thousands of miles between us, Hakan, and you're not going to be able to do that here. But this no, is I'm not trying. Great... No, no, seriously, I'm not trying. I'm just saying, look, if Biden's going into election now, are you going to go on a TV and say somebody's trying to remove Biden? Is that the word you're going to use? It's an election between the two individuals. What's wrong with I'm... saying it that okay. one party lost and the other one won? It's not about removing I'm... somebody from the power. I'm election... going to finish with one sentence because more than anything I can actually say on this program, yeah. our behavior is enough to explain to our audience what's wrong in Turkey okay. right now.